For anyone who was at the midnight premiere of The Dark Knight Rises in Aurora, Colorado Friday night, the very definition of shoot 'em up thriller was changed by that nonfiction violence in front of them. As families and communities continue to reel with pain and loss, the film's star stepped out of character and into their shattered lives for a few moments today, while others found that a trip to the movies, the most American of escape havens, has changed. But how and for how long? Here's ABC's David Wright. Today, with the sort of stealth for which the caped crusader is famous, Christian Bale, the actor who plays Batman, quietly made hospital rounds here in Aurora. No camera crew in tow, no tip-offs to the news media. The only clear photos taken at the hospital on the cell phones of survivors, all of them declining requests for interviews tonight. He specifically asked for no publicity. Christine Bates was brought by ambulance from another hospital to meet him. Are you a Batman fan? I am a Batman fan. You know, a little hesitant now. Just yesterday, she told us how she's understandably conflicted, not just about Batman, but movies in general, given what she's been through. An Iraq war veteran, she survived deployment to Baghdad unscathed only to be shot at the movies in her hometown. She was there with a group of co-workers from Red Robin, including Alex Sullivan. Tell me where he is, okay? Find my son. I don't know where he is, okay? Somebody find him and call us. Tell him to call us. The guy whose father frantically searched the hospitals in vain Friday, his son's 27th birthday, only to learn his son had been murdered. Sully is just kind of like, the goofy, happy-go-lucky type of guy. But the funny thing is, is he didn't even tell anybody it was his birthday. Today, Christian Bale stopped briefly at the memorial to Alex Sullivan and the 11 others killed in the shooting. He had already issued a statement over the weekend. Words cannot express the horror I feel. Today, he saw that horror up close. Today, there was one bit of redeeming news. A healthy baby boy born this morning, Hugo Jackson Medley. His parents were at the movie theater when the shooting broke out. His mom, nine months pregnant, uninjured. His dad lost an eye and is still fighting for life. In the same hospital, his son was born. And tonight, disturbing new details are emerging from inside the Arapahoe County Jail, where the man accused of causing this carnage is being held. Sources tell ABC's local affiliate, KMGH, that when the suspect was first brought in, they put plastic bags on his hands to preserve gunpowder residue, and the suspect started using them as sock puppets. Before this defense team can even start thinking about a possible insanity plea, the first question they have to ask themselves is, does he understand what's going on? Because if they believe he doesn't, then they can make a motion to declare him incompetent to even stand trial, at least for now. In the aftermath of the shooting, there have been several movie-related scares. Security concerns shut down a showing of The Dark Knight Rises. Last night in northern New Jersey, a theater showing The Dark Knight Rises was briefly evacuated after a jittery theater-goer called 911. Over the weekend, Maine state troopers arrested a man who admitted to bringing a loaded gun to a movie theater Saturday night. And in California, Sunday, this man was arrested for allegedly creating a disturbance at a dark night screening. Witnesses say he started shouting about Colorado and threatened to get a gun. A theater is kind of a, a what we call a comfort place. People go there. You expect a theater to be fun. The police psychologist here in Aurora says it makes perfect sense that many people now see movie theaters as potentially dangerous places. Psychological footprint just goes on and on after these events. These wounds will heal, but how do you feel you will get past this? I don't really know that there's get a getting past to it, except in time, I'll probably start going back to the movies again. But for now, the only thing I'm going to kind of do is just kind of be hesitant about going to the movies. Again, understandable that they should this. feel that way. Just as anxiety that has nothing to do with travel has invaded our sense of safety in the skies, it may well be that for a portion of the population, the escape closer to home is now tainted too. I'm hoping that in the long term it doesn't change things at all because cinema going is a place where people go to get away from it all. Just let go of all your problems for two hours and indulge in, you know, someone else's problems. Clearly a lot of people are still going. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Among them, 16-year-old Justin Davis, who survived the Aurora Massacre. I just want to finish it, and number two is that for all those like went men, women, and children that you know didn't get to finish it, I want to finish that for them. For him, watching the Dark Knight all the way through.
was a way of reclaiming life. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Aurora, Colorado.